What's your problem? Yeah, Kylie, what's your problem? Take a chill pill. Sorry, um, it's, it's just my mum. She's been having a meltdown, you know, because of the layout, and Kylie's been copping it. Right. Yeah, she gets like a headless chicken. Yeah, left brain, right brain or something, I don't know. But I'm surprised Jason didn't let you know. I gave him the heads up earlier. Yeah, I've just come up from the job, my phone's bust. Oh, well, hey, no drama. OK, so when Gail decides... He'll be the first to know, yeah. I'm sorry, mate. I I'll see you later. Yeah. yeah. See you later. That was too close. What was too close? So, I'm just imagining everything, am I? Yeah. What he said. And I'm supposed to believe that? Well, I couldn't give a monkey's what you believe, cos it's the truth. I believe her. Right, come on, that's enough outside. No, not until I get a full explanation. Too right! Out! Don't talk to me like that. Would you leave my premises immediately, please? Oh, sorry, Ry, she's just not being herself. Am I the only one that thinks relationships are unfathomable? You're not wrong, Roy. You're not wrong. Just answer me the question. Why did you palm Gary off like that when the plan's to act normal? Normal? Well, you're a fine one to talk. What's that supposed to mean? Where have you seen yourself, Sarah? You're all over the place. Gallop is dead. Yeah, and we're still here. Oh, it's not fucking right you know that. So we are where we are, all right? All that's left to do is to look out for each other and keep us cop short. Yeah. The question is, can you do that? Can you do that? I think so. Sorry, but I think so. It's not going to cut it. I know, you're right. But every time I'm with me, Mum, she's been through so much herself. I just think anyone could understand it's her. Are you off your head? I'm finding this really hard. Hard? Do you want to try hard? Try 20 years in prison. What are we going to do? There's only one thing we can do. We'll have to get shut of her. What? Not like that. Give me some credit, please. I mean, we'll have to keep her as far away from you as possible. Out of sight and hopefully out of mind. How are you going to manage that? I've no idea. But until I come up with something, she doesn't go anywhere. No ifs, buts or maybes. That was out of order. I don't appreciate being lectured. Well, I don't appreciate you going off half cocked and making a fool of yourself. For the last time, nothing happened. It doesn't mean to say she didn't want it to. Oh, you're a mind reader now, are you? She saw an emotional vulnerability, and to certain women, that's equivalent to a lioness seeing an injured antelope. Oh, yeah, and what did you see in Kevin? Simba? What if he hadn't refused? What if he hadn't been as weak-willed as you seem to think I am? What then? Look, it was a mistake. Besides, you can't compare the two situations. Kevin and I have years of history. Oh, thanks for the reminder. Tim, you have nothing to be jealous of. I need a pint. Timothy! Hello! I could do this all day. Bring it. Consider it brought. So that. Oh, come on, Lord. Free two to the stairmaster. Oosh. Right. Have I told you I beat off your eyes up? Yeah, I've actually. Have I? Mm. Milan! Yeah, well, I could buy the tickets today, and then all you do is just rock up at the airport. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I can't just go gallivanting off to Italy. Why not? Be perfect. She'll have a whale of a time. What about the annex? Well, I'm all over that. And Tony and Jason know what they're doing, don't they? And any problems, we'll just give you a call. Yeah, but uh, the devil's in the detail. I need to see what's going on. Well, then we'll video call. Do, like, a daily update. Yeah, be like you never left. Still feels cheeky. Oh, come on. This place is going to be like a madhouse. And you're always stressing anyway about all the mess in here, so... You do so much for us, Gail. Let us do this for you. What do you think? Sarah? Mum's talking to you. Yeah, I think it's a brilliant idea. I ought to get to work. So? Oh. Oh. Looks like Italy, here I come. Oh, the lot's lost. I'm gonna invite him over. You flipping do no such thing. As of now, we're staying well out of this. Oh, right. Go on, then, give me your last pillow. Mm -mm. Yeah, give us a smile and it's all your thoughts. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> Oi! Yeah. Hey, I'm starving. Well, I'm the one with Coupe, remember? Mm. Oh, just hang on a minute. Oh, I feel a bit funny. I think my energy levels are low, Dad. Uh, okay. Come on. Yeah. 
Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, yeah, way too comfortable playing that card if you ask me. <laughs> Wonder how them two are holding up. Acting like ten year olds would be my guess. Mm. Do you think I'm being selfish or rooting him? Well, why it's a grown man? Besides, now you're uprooting him, are you? Giving his life the kick up the backside it needs. And between you and me, you don't think Steve thinks that I'm breaking up the band? No. Yeah, but he's gutted. Well, of course he is, but, you know, he also just wants his friend to be happy. Yeah. Oh, finally decided to show your face, have you? I'm sorry, I've not been feeling very well. I'll make the hours up. Mm. You don't look too clever. I'll be fine. Everything to your liking? Smashing tower. Uh, Dad, I'm gonna get off for you, right, getting a bill, yeah? Oh, yeah, doesn't look like I have a choice. Seems more like his old self. Getting stronger every day. You don't seem too chuffed about that. Oh, yeah. But? But he still after Callum's blood, and when he's 100%, he'll be wanting payback. Even close. Mate, I... I don't know what to say. Well, buys a pipe, we call it even. Two pints, please, Sarah, when you're ready. That was unexpected. Mmm. Mm. What are you doing? Calling, Sal. Um, what happened to staying well out of it? Um, that was then. This is now. Mm. I said I didn't want to be disturbed. Uh, another time. Oh! Right. Didn't mean you. Mean you. You can come in. Oh. Right. Interrupting your lunch. No, don't be silly. Take a few. Is it possible to have the door closed? Oh, sure. Now I'm intrigued. Yeah. Earth to Sarah. Sorry, I was miles away. Go on. I'll be okay. It's not a suggestion. No use to me or anyone like that, are you? Yeah, I suppose you're right. Thanks, Michelle. That's my life in a nutshell. One step forward, two steps back. Except there's usually a cliff edge behind me. With a thousand foot drop into shark infested waters. What have you been there then, have you? Well, more than once. Look, Tim, how about me and Sally? She made a move on you, mate. Yeah, it still doesn't let me off the hook. Uh, what's done is done. I just want to move on from it. Well, as long as you know she's nuts about you. Mate, she's nuts full stop. She nearly decked, Anna. Yeah, it's because she cares. Game on. Easy was right. What's all this? What's all what? We're having a pint. What, together? Yeah, why not? I'm confused. We've talked things through. Look, oh, I'll uh, leave you to... No, you won't. Sit down. What, so your mates again? Yeah, I suppose. Right, let me get this straight. So, you've forgiven Kevin, but not me. I mean, how's that possible? Well, it's possible, because I don't love Kevin and I love you. Maybe I'm not good enough for you. Maybe I never have been. I'm sorry. Look, I was just stressed, that's all. Everything will be back to normal after the wedding. There isn't going to be a wedding. Pardon? You heard. Look, let's not jump the gun here. Brothers are not right for each other. I can do without the aggro or the heartache. Not now, not ever. Detective Sergeant was just telling us about Callum. Callum? Yeah, they found his car this morning. Burnt out and abandoned. He wasn't in it. Oh, that's, um... That's terrible. Just desserts, more like. Oh, where was I? When was the last time you saw Mr Logan? Yesterday evening. Yesterday? Yeah, he wanted to see Max, but Max refused. How come? Well, he doesn't want a psychotic criminal as a role model. Are you okay? Um... She, she was dating Callum up until a while ago. Of course. Yeah, I'd forgotten. It's been a bit of an issue for the family. 
It's the understatement of the century. Have you stayed in touch? No. So you've... you've no idea where he currently is? Absolutely not. The man's dead to her. Sorry, mate. Getting Traffic. interference, my end. Traffic. Sorry, I'm losing you. <laughs> they fall for that every time. Bingo. Triple chalk. You're pushing the boat out, aren't you? Yeah. Only the best for the best. <laughs> Listen. We're going to have to talk about me selling my half of the business. <sighs> yeah, what's the rush? This is happening, yeah. Can't go living in denial. I know. Anyway, denial's in Egypt. We'll get soaked. Seriously. We'll sort it. Steve. We'll sort it. Let's try these bad boys first. Room for a little one? Yeah, the more the merrier. You know, you're like a biscuit bloodhound. Mm, I'm not interrupting anything, am I? No, in fact, you've made this day complete. Oh, right. Well, less talky, more easy. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Mm-hmm. I, I realise that the courting process is necessary. Well, that's good. Because, you know, long gone are the days where you can just club a lady over the bolts and drag her into your cave or so. Sorry, go on. However, it has been a number of years since I have embarked on such a challenge. OK, stop right there. Rewind. Top tip. Can we try and avoid words like process and challenge, because we're talking about dating here and, you know, we're not talking about a tax return and an obstacle course. It's meant to be fun. <laughs> it's difficult to have fun when you're frightened. What's it to be frightened of? The unknown. D despite spending considerable time together, Cathy remains a mystery to me. Well, I'm betting the feeling's mutual. Well, perhaps. I just wouldn't want to disappoint her. Well, that is impossible. It is, I assure you. No, it's not you just be yourself. What if that isn't enough? If that isn't enough, then Cathy needs her head examining because, you know, as far as I'm concerned, she's the luckiest woman in the world. You are too kind. No, no, no. This is not an ego boost, right? This is fact. Blokes like you are gold dust. And what you see with you literally is what you get. And what a woman gets with you is everything. You even make that dodgy cardigan look quite good. Actually, summer. So, back's been giving me jip all day. I have a friend who swears by something called valerium. Or is it arnica? All right, Mum, the detective sergeant's a busy man. I'm sorry, silly me, prattling on. If anything else comes to mind, you'll be the first to know. I'll show you out. Have yeah, some work done. Yeah, we're converting the garage into, like, a granny pad. I prefer to call it the annex. Oh, my missus has been on at me to build one of them for the mother-in-law. Do you mind if I uh, take a quick gander? Well, with... No, be my guest. It's a decent space. Yeah, isn't it? And this is where the bed will go. And then the shower and wash facilities here. All right, too much information. No, it's useful. Of course, all the noise and disruption aren't much fun, but, I mean, some days I'm at my wit's end. Worth the aggro, though, eh? Hmm. Aye, aye. That could be a problem. Need to be careful building over drains, you know. Oh, my builder assures me it's fine. Still, might be worth a second opinion. Wait a mine built over his. Years later, the pipes backed up, flooded his entire gaff. Oh, apparently they're part of the old factory drainage. Nothing down there but the odd rat. <laughs> Don't look so worried, David. I'm only joking. Scared the rats, are we? Truth be told, same myself. Right, well, I best get a shift on... Uh, Thanks for the tour. No, it's my pleasure. I'll see myself out. What a nice man. Are you OK, David? I thought you'd be over the moon about Callum. Callum? Yeah, well, he's obviously got himself into some bother. But fingers crossed that's the last we're going to see of him. You can't just cancel the wedding. It wasn't meant to be, all right? Oh, come on. You know that's not true. Stuff happens for a reason. Oh, I feel terrible. Why? You're not to blame. Neither is her. Sally's brought this on herself. That woman, she might be a holier-than-thou 
windbag, but it's obvious that she loves you to bits. How can you defend her after the way she's treated you? Because I've learned from bitter experience that when you find happiness, you know, you, you hold on to it for dear life. Feel free to chip in, Roy. I, I, I wouldn't presume to burden Tim with my ignorance. Sometimes ignorance is bliss, Roy. So what, you're going to chuck the towel in? Yeah, better now than in six months. Oh, do you know, it's times like this, I'm grateful to be single. Don't let that put you off. Can we get some sweets? I told you when we get to the shops. Under the weather, my foot. Honestly, your mum and dad let you run rings around you. Are you sure you're not coming to the park with us? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. Um, just send Uncle Steve a man. <laughs> hey! I've got a bone to pick with you two. Why, well, what have we done? It's what you've not done. You assured me I would be your number one priority. Well, David told us to stand down, said you were rethinking the layout. No, I've not. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. We're just passing on what he said. I wonder what on earth gave him that idea. No harm done. We can, um, restart whenever you want. Today? Fine. What about the floor? <sighs> oh, just concrete over it. Hey, we had the police round earlier. Said that they found Callum's car burnt out. Oh. Yeah, just thought you'd be interested. Do you? Bye. It's a shame he wasn't in the car. Okay. Right. Who gets it then? Well, I think we all know the answer ah, to that. Not so fast, Buster. Look at it as my going away present. Yeah, going away and leaving Muggins here with him. Uh, I think we all know it has to be me. Here I am on my jack, protecting the livelihood of streetcars, and it's many hard-working drivers, and this part-time slacker. Ah, that is a good point. It is well made. I thank you. But, however, ah. I think we can all agree that I made this business what it ah. is. I mean, is that in a parallel universe or I mean, something? This place would be in the Stone Age if it wasn't for me. Oh. 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 No offence, but you two clowns couldn't fill a bath without me. Hi. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Um, babe, we really need to get a move on. Oh, triple chalk, my favourite. <laughs> what? Was it not going spare? No, probably did us all a favour. Right, do not be a stranger. Hey, you'll never get that lucky. Mm -hmm. Look after me, boy. Always. I'll hold you to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, well, uh, I'll just wait outside. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> if it hadn't been for you, I'd have never met him, so... No, don't. Feel guilty enough. Yeah, stop it. <laughs> <gasps> oh, I was just thinking, if that copper had discovered Callum, yeah, the headline would have been, body found in hole, police looking into it. David, this isn't funny. All right, don't you think I don't know that? Hang on. Well, what's going on? Oh, your mum's uh, brought us back to work. Yeah, I think you've got your wires crossed, Dave. What's that thing doing here? Just read the floor. In English? Laying the concrete. What about the manhole cover? That as well. Not me, Mum said she wanted that left open. Not anymore. What, the can't wait until tomorrow? Your mum's laid down the law. No. Listen, David, take you with your mum. We're already behind as it is. Here. Let's make this quick, come on. Minimal fuss. A bit like your skills in the boudoir. Say goodbye, Steve. Goodbye, Steve. Cruising for a bruising. You need him for a bleeding. You're flirting for a hitting. You're straining for a caning. You're bleating for a beating. You... <laughs> Give it up. No, hang on a minute. No, you lost. I won. Don't cry about it. You're angling for a mangling. <laughs> I'll give you that. Thanks. I've got a boogie. Yeah, I know. Almost forgot. You bleeding this? Yeah. I want you to know, um, I'm a better man for knowing you. Nah, I think I found out I'm the better man. As usual. 
be lucky, eh? Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Let's get out of here before we change our minds, eh? Hi. What? I got something. What? This. Greg Charles and Hayley Tamadon say goodbye to the cobbles in our exclusive leaving interviews only at itv.com slash Corey. Sunday night, ITV's the place to be. We have the final visit to boot camp in the X Factor at 7, then wedding plans in Downton Abbey at 9. Next tonight, the king of punk, Johnny Rotten, tells his life story to Piers Morgan. (laughs) 